It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Finns and the Dirty Birds on EA Sports. First open in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Atlanta Falcons. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from Atlanta. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they'll be led out by the NFL's most valuable player from 2015, it's Cam Newton. And many people are having difficulty pegging exactly what they believe Cam Newton is at this point in his career. For me, when I see certain days and he's right, he can still be an accurate passer, can still get the ball downfield. And his running ability, especially inside the 10, still makes him a difficult quarterback to prepare for. Newton on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Clayton. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Get ready, get ready, and we see the emphasis ready. early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people, and right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. It's a slam to Hill. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. stick with it on first down and they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. well there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run and let's face it it shouldn't be a surprise he's one of the better backs in the league had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. And he'll give it here to his running back. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They lost four there, and it's third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. To throw is Newton. And that is incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. So he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully.
So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. First and ten, it's far. He finds his man complete. It's Haynes. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. From the gun, it's a give to Anderson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Play action. It's far. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. now first and 15 following the delay of game from the gun it's far that one complete to Anderson give him a gain of five on the completion and that'll make it second and ten all defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain with the football as they've got it with a second and ten. Hey, hey, hey. 
Favre. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play there on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A give to Anderson here out of the gun. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. They give it to Anderson and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. So from second and long now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah they love that phrase don't they because as an offensive coordinator you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. On third down, it's Anderson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Fred, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. From the shotgun, it's far. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Down that's close to the goal line. First down. Surprise that wasn't a run. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Here's Anderson. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. They'll try again. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out, and the Falcons have taken the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. To try here for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Pretty long drive that time. 11 plays on turn. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On first down, Newton. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Completion was given up, and that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Blitz coming and down. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be a third and about 13. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not a whole lot doing there. So get it up to about the 28-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on here to punt it away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now they'll throw on first down with Favre. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times did we talk about complementary football? And we're usually talking about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. On second down. It's Anderson, and he's got some space here. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So 
So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Here's Favre to throw. Throw left side, complete. That's Gonzalez. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. On first down, Favre. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hayes. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range down at the 27-yard line. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And his kick is indeed good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to three. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is looking up into the roof and he muffs it. It's loose. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18. And no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Turn from just beyond the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. And the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. From the 34 now, here's 
first and ten. Now Favre. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. On second down now, it's Anderson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. To throw is far. Throw right side is held in by the tight end, Gonzalez. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. A third down is really simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing is far. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Tenth carry now for Anderson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They're going to look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first, this from 41. And his kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. Tell the lead extended. And I think at this point you say, hey, defense, take us to the end. Well, if I got some good music to put to that, I could have a good country hit. I like the way you express yourself there. I think the offense has done enough so far. But like you said, if your defense is only giving up three points, it makes it a lot easier to settle for field goals on this side of the ball. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Going to give this time to the tailback. Oh, what a move. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. That's a staple of this offense, drag around to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Three yards remain for second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They got a nice little drive room right here. A short one here, complete to the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 18. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Remember throwing my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And his kick here is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So 
All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get it the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It will come out to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. throwing here to start the drive. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. That catch good for only a couple. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Favre on second down. He finds his man, complete. It's Haynes. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 33. And these guys are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on his lead here in the fourth quarter. as they've crossed into Miami territory, down at the 33. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Haynes. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Tell you what, he's been able to put them all in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Off the play fake, here's Farr. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. On second down, Favre. He finds his man, complete. That's Gonzalez. Five yards, now it's third and five. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover it? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. 
This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that one makes this a 10-point game at 16 to 6. So that one's CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. away and off it goes. This taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So Cam Newton at his offense. Down by 10. A minute 47 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Newton's throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Desperation time, Newton, fourth down. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not gonna be able to stop the clock after that. down. Here's the run with Anderson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Get ready, get ready, the Dolphins going to take ready. their second timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. And 
with a third and 13 here. The defense in a dime look. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.